or I've never heard of her, but you know, I actually don't think she's cheating with this girl because she wouldn't be so outward about it. I happen to think I have a different um, theory. Do you want to hear my theory? Sure. I think, you know, cause I recently read that she's like getting sober. She's not drinking anymore. And I know that this girl, Morgan does not drink. She's like a sober coach. So I have a feeling that she's been like a really positive influence in her life um, of a, of a person who's hanging out with her. That's um, leading her on a path of having a lot of fun without getting drunk while you're doing it. So I think she, maybe she's not as officially a sober coach, but she's like her best friend at the moment. Who's helping her get through this without going down a path of becoming, you know, someone who's drunk all the time. Cause she's depressed about ending a relationship so I don't necessarily think that there's any sexual innuendo going on at all I don't I mean I know all these people change into lesbian lovers late in life I I I don't think Kyle is one do you imagine if this is well okay there's a lot here to unpack imagine if Morgan Wade I mean listen I don't think you're the I mean I've never heard of her either no offense to her everyone I've talked to hasn't like I've been tracking her Instagram followers because this is how shallow I am I just want to see like has this go I'm not saying it's fake I'm not saying it's staged I'm just saying like has her I mean I I went and followed her on Instagram. Um, can you imagine if this really is like a sober influence in her life? And Rachel, you could tell here, I'm behind the velvet rope is just cracked this case wide open. Cracked it's it not, wide open. <laughs> it's not like, I mean, the craziest thing. Like I hear a lot of things here when I say, no, no, that's not true. You might be right, girl. Yeah. I mean, listen, from just having common sense and also experience, you know that like if you're involved in something and you're somebody that's a public figure like that, the things that are uh, scary to let out or to let the public know about, you're going to keep that really close to your chest. So if she is sleeping with someone, um, if she is intimate with someone, I don't think that's the person she's posting on her Instagram. She might be doing that as a deflection from who she's really with. But, you know, I do not think that this girl is a lesbian lover. I really don't. And I can't wait to see what ends up happening. I mean, and by the way, all this does is give a lot of press to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And everyone will be tuning in to see what happens there. Who have we lost on that uh, show? We lost uh, two Rena. people. Okay, Rena. And is um, Dorit coming back? She is. We oh, lost is. Diana Jenkins, who I don't oh. hate, but the world does. And so I don't think anyone really focuses on her. I think we just lost Rena, really. Right. Okay. And Kathy Hilton, which, I mean, she was there for one second. So, right. No well, still, I mean, the, the season's going to be changed without that dynamic. So I think this brings a lot of like, oh my God, you know, let's see what's going on. And there's so much drama in the world of Bravo. I mean, we've had Vanderpump rules for the last, what? four months or something. And now, um, that's kind of fizzled out. So now we need something else to obsess about. And it seems like it's that. And also, you know, the Kim, uh, uh, the Kim and Kyle divorce. So many people are getting divorced or separated these days. Have you noticed? A lot of people are, you know, here. The thing, I guess this is what I didn't realize. I guess I didn't realize that Kyle was on such a journey for sobriety. Like, I think that's why I never considered this option of yours. Like, I didn't realize this was a real journey that she was on. Well, and who knows? Maybe it's not a journey, but maybe she's just like, listen, I want to clean myself up, get myself healthy while I'm about to be single. You know, I mean, not everyone who doesn't drink and chooses to be sober had like an issue with alcohol. It's just that they want to take a, re- you know, they want to have a restart. Um, I just interviewed Michael Lohan, who is sober, but he didn't stop drinking because he had an issue with it. He stopped because he realized his life was better and less chaotic when he wasn't drunk. But, you know, I'm not a huge drinker, but like I have gone sober for a while of not drinking for months just because I want to, you know, get cut. I want to, you know, feel different. I want to have different experiences with people. So also you interact with people that uh, differently when they're drunk. Do you know what I mean? Like if you have a group of friends that are always out partying, you can't really have any deep, meaningful conversations with them. Maybe she's just trying to have some different type of relationships in her life, you know? Rachel is not a huge drinker as she takes a sip of her rosé at well, 1.15 on Thursday afternoon. I'm it's not happy calling hour girl. for me. And it's the be- beginning just, of the weekend. I'm just, I'm just having small talk. I don't judge here behind the velvet rope. Um, listen, I think you have some good points. You know, also, let's just break this down. I mean, they are, the, the title of the People article is that they're separated. Mm-hmm. No one's mentioning divorce. Now, Kyle and Mauricio have made that joint statement that, 
you know, anything you hear about a divorce is untrue. That That is a yeah. word for word what they've said, yeah. which I mean, that's basically like saying like, okay, we're separating, but we're not divorcing. I mean, that's possible. Yeah, right? they like, have divorce. kids, they have bank accounts. I mean, a lot of people these days don't necessarily go through with the divorce because it's too expensive. And, but you know, this allows them a public announcement of that. So if they are seen with other people or doing things that would be seen as sketchy to their marriage in public, now at least they can get away with it because it looks legit. Do you know what I'm saying? I do. I mean, you know, listen, I, I think your theory could be one. I mean, first of all, I don't think Kyle is having, you know, a lesbian affair with this woman. I don't think Kyle is exploring her sexuality. I agree. That's just me. I just don't see it. We, you know, we have Chriselle over on Selling Sunset. I didn't believe that at first either. Now I do, obviously. But, you know, the weird things are, which would make sense, I guess, if they're really good friends. I just don't understand where Kyle has met her, but they have similar rings. This is what this audience does, Rachel. You don't realize how it works here behind the bell. Similar right? what? There's, there's similar rings. So Kyle and, and, and this Morgan have, a, this, like, they have the same ring. Like a friendship ring? whatever that's ring? worth. I, I don't know. It's the same ring. Just like Tom Sandoval and his lightning bolt necklace. Ugh. And Raquel, they've noticed this. Now, they also have matching heart tattoos. I heard that. That is a little suspect, I will say. And Morgan got a K tattoo. It has a K. Just a K. So matching tattoos, matching rings, and a K. Did we do These some research three... on who her ex-girlfriend is? Maybe her name has a K in it? No, but I would love to have somebody do that now that we're putting it out into the world. That's a very interesting uh, well, I have a background too. in forensic investigation, so I'm all about asking the right questions. <laughs> I Guys, mean, instead of calling Bo Deedle, maybe you should call Rachel <laughs> Yucatel PI. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. But I know I don't believe anything, but I do think that is really weird. I mean, you don't just get a new friend and start getting a tattoo and love ring jewelry and, you know, uh, all this stuff. I did see something about how they have an Amazon um, live show together. I don't know what that is. Have you seen that? No. And people are saying that, you know, I saw something today where it's like, it's, it's an emotional affair. Kyle had an emotional affair with her. She revealed the emotional affair to Mauricio. I personally, I mean, I'm like dead inside, but how can I say this nicely? Unless I want to fuck you, and I'm using the term fuck in a very generic sense, like just throw you down and bed you, I'm not really having an emotional connection with someone. That's just me. If I don't want to take you to the bedroom, I don't, the emotions don't go, I don't understand an emotional I affair. That's totally just totally get what you're saying. I mean, I think when we were younger, I understood that, but like, no, I'm not into that. It's like, I don't let people come into my boundary unless there's like a real reason. And I'm not going to be in a relationship with someone for 26 years and then have an emotional connection with someone else who's a woman. Uh, you know, I, I'm 48 years old. I'm not going to start exploring my sexuality with an, another sex just because I'm not happy with men. I mean, you've been gay for a very long time. Are you going to start exploring women late in life? I'm just curious. I was just going to say that. Um, no, this is why, like, I am liberal and I'm open to any 